Hello Libra! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot for support of Oracle cards, the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Okay. What do we have for Libra? Okay. So, starting off with this situation, you've got the Page of Pentacles. You got very cooperative cards, but it's just okay. The top card, the way this is coming in, is like what's holding it all together is feeling like the way it's been is the way it should be. Trying to hold to the standard. Kind of like things have been going well. I almost feel like if I try to change things or I try to mess with things, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, if I just leave it the way it is, it doesn't. It just at least kind of stays the same and it's okay the way it is. It's okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. I've got the Page of Pentacles and the, the Page of Cups here too, which is telling me you're trying to like just watch how it's unfolding. It's more of a passive, let's see how it's going to go. I don't want to really upset the apple cart because it seems to be fairly okay. It just kind of keeping a smooth rhythm with what's going on. Um, whatever you're dealing with, whoever you're dealing with, it seems like it can be easily a little bit volatile and you're like, ah, it just never works out. It never goes better. If we get, if I get in there and try to change things, you know, it's easily, it's like a hair, like, you know, a hair trip or hair trigger, hair trigger. There we go. And it just, poof, things go off and then people get upset and I don't think they really need to be, but they overreact. A lot of overreacting in this situation too. And I feel like you constantly have to deal with that. It's one of the reasons you kind of like pull back. Kind of like there's a lot of people who overreact. In the environment, you do have balance with the Seven of Pentacles, though. Currently, the things are things are balancing enough. Things are balancing enough. I don't think it's perfect, but I'm getting as long as it just keeps going the way it's been going. At this point, it's kind of like leaving it as it is, like just not not messing with it. Like it's going well as it is. If it just keeps going the way it is, I guess it's fine. So we'll just let it be. Something changes here. Somebody seems to ask for your opinion or asks for your guidance. It's either guidance or opinion. You have to, I guess, it depends on how you're receiving it. Somebody comes to you and they're like, what do you think I should do? Something, something along that way. Some of them may even be like, can you handle this, please? Can you do something with this, please? Um, I'm going to, I'm willing to do whatever you say. Just tell me what you would do and I'll do that. How many, how, how can I handle this? Because I got surrender on the other side. This to me seems a little bit unorthodox, I guess I would say. It's not really expected. Um, it doesn't seem like this is normal for this person to come and ask you. Like almost like the fact that this person is asking you, you're like, okay, like I guess. You have a weird reaction to this. You have the star card with the hunger. You're hopeful, but at the same time, you're like, I'll try to help them, and it may start out going the way I suggested, but they're going to do what they want with it. And I'm getting the hunger with the, with the, with the star card. It's kind of like you're very hopeful. You, you want this moment. And you, you, there's a certain way you'd like to see it go this way. You'd like to see it. There's, you definitely know the way you'd like to see it go. But you're very realistic in the sense of like the hunger is like, I'm going to help them. I'm going to tell them what I think they should do. They'll, they might get, might get halfway the way I want them to do it. But then they're going to start doing it their own way. And I know that. So then it's kind of like once I start this, it's almost like you you see them getting you on their side. And they're going to do it partly their way, partly your way, but then partly their own way. Um and you're kind of like, oh, what am I getting myself into? I don't know if this is a good idea because I'm not going to be able to keep control of this. There's a lot of overreacting again. I'm getting that constantly on the other side. Now, 
things go forward and I'm getting the more they adhere to your advice, the better things get. I'm getting the beauty comes out in the actual situation. Things are looking pretty good. They're looking good. At the same time, you're like, you're not, you're kind of shocked that it's going this way. And you're not feeling like this other person is happy with what they're doing. In fact, they're not, and you're just seeing it is what I'm getting. The uh, Five of Pentacles with the Tower card and the Unexpected. Like the Unexpected and the Tower card, that's reiterating similar energies. Kind of like, you're kind of shocked that it's holding together as long as it is. And you're not feeling like this is going to last. And you're kind of like, when I'm getting that Five of Pentacles, like it's a really good moment, but you're already like having anxiety about, okay, well, we've gone pretty far with this and I already know the other person doesn't want to do it this way anymore. And it's kind of like the Five of Pentacles is like, oh, if it could just stay like this, this would be perfect. But you're already worried about when it changes. This is what's going on in the environment. The Emperor with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is like not liking what you have in front of you, even though it might be good. And they're, they're not liking it. The situation is better, though. But the thing is, your advice is actually working. And they don't like it. They don't like, well, they don't like how they have to handle it. I think that's the, the trick here. The actual outcome or what's happening, like the atmosphere is good, but the what, what they have to contribute to make that work out that way, they don't like that. It's almost like somebody who doesn't like to negotiate, forcing themselves to be more nice to people. Um, and they don't like it. They don't like it. But at the same time, they got the Emperor card backing it up, kind of like, things are working a lot better. The situation at a whole, like people are getting along better, things are working out better, things are going much more smoothly. So at the same time, they're like, if I start doing it my way, this is gonna, this is gonna fall apart. This isn't gonna be good anymore. And they're kind of conflicted. They're like, I don't like doing it this way. I don't like doing it the way the Libra wants me to do it, but it's working. So, and they know they can change their mind, but they're like, they don't wanna give up how good it's going. That's the catch-22 on this. Um, it's going to last longer than expected, but it is going to change. The thing is, what, how is it going to change is the question. I get protection on your side. Like When it changes, it doesn't seem to go bad for you, but it is going to change. You seem to be protected. The question is, how long can we keep it? I feel like that's how long can we keep it? Um, this is going to be the time because usually I feel like with, with this certain situation you try to hold back because you don't think it works a lot of overreacting if you you got two different ways to handle this one is the nine of wands that's just holding personally just kind of like holding still holding the fort down in your own piece and just holding strong to your own section and not going over towards that other area. Kind of like just holding my own spot, holding my own area together, keeping it together and trying to keep along with the, what I think is right. Just kind of going along and doing what I think is right and just letting this other energy be who that other energy wants to be and just like, as long as it's good, we'll just enjoy it. And when it changes, I'll just have to deal with it when it changes. That's one way to handle it. This doesn't last as long as if you do this other version. The other version, which is a little bit more stressful, is trying to keep in contact with this other person who doesn't seem to like to do things the way you've explained it. But it's good. It is good. So if you're more, if you reach out to this energy, which I feel like this is the energy, I feel like it overreacts. I do feel like it overreacts for whatever reason. But if you're able to get out and just, as it's going good, when it's, when it's going good, have talks with them. Try to figure out where the stress points are for them. You might even be able to kind of help, you know, all right, you don't like doing that. Maybe I could do that for you as a trade. Maybe you could do this for me because maybe there's things you don't like to do. You could do things they don't like to do that you handle well. They can do things that you don't like to do that they handle well. Like there might be like a trading of like or like a bartering system of like responsibilities. It'll be like three times as long if you do this. It, it's a little bit more stressful for you, though. Kind of like 
you just gotta, it's, it just feels like every now and then you're just kind of on pins and needles, like, oh, are they gonna freak? Are they gonna freak? No, I think they're fine. I think they're fine. Um, kind of like, because if they freak, it's kind of like it's all gonna fall apart. And you're like, this is what we don't want to happen. We don't want this to fall apart. So you're like, are they gonna freak? Are they gonna freak? No, I think they're fine. It's not gonna be permanent. It's not gonna be permanent. At some point, the wheel will, the wheel will turn and this will change. It will turn at some point. It's only it's got a it's got a shelf life. I'm sorry, but it does. The wheel will turn at some point. This will this part of the situation will release and it'll go into a new phase, whatever that phase may be, which is subjective to your situation. But I'm getting like if you work with this energy, even though you really are not comfortable with working with it, it should last up to three times as long as if you don't. If you don't, it, it just won't last as long. It'll be you know what I mean. So for example. If this on it without you doing this, without with you just kind of minding your own business, last three months. If you get involved with this other person, it could last up to nine months. And this is like a good period where you're happy, and things are going well. So it's up to you. Is, is three months good enough, or is nine months worth it? It's up to you, because I don't think like these stressful moments are constant. They're just every now and then. It's just when this person starts talking every now and then. You're like, oh, are we gonna lose our mind? Are we gonna have a freak out? No, I guess we didn't. It's like, it's not horrible, but it's just kind of like a little bit nerves. It's nervousness. I mean, you could handle this person. You just don't like when they freak out. It's not fun. That's all. All right, I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email. Jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.